How did it become lost? What happened that took it away, that obliterated it from human memory? Finally, after weeks of waiting, scientists have let the cat out of the bag. Archaeologists have uncovered the most marveling and breathtaking discovery about our planet. However, what no one was prepared for is the location where this discovery was made. We didn't see it coming. Archaeologists left the ruin of ground surface to submerge themselves underneath the mighty waters of our world in search of mysteries and spectacular fins that may lie there. This underwater journey led them to the gates of an ancient city that had almost been wiped away from human history. They uncovered a lost civilization that we didn't know existed, rewriting the annals of history right before our eyes. What's so special about this lost ancient city that archaeologists can't stop talking about? Where exactly did scientists find this ancient civilization, and could this be the legendary lost city of Atlantis? Join us as we explore the answers to these questions in today's video. Scientists discover a lost ancient city hidden underwater that shouldn't exist. Archaeologists have been a huge blessing to human history, visiting places that no one in today's world would dare tread and unlocking secrets that we never knew existed. Archaeologists can be accused of a lot of crimes, but one thing we would never find them guilty of is shying away from adventures. Adventure is the meal that archaeology eats and lives on. So, you can understand the excitement that rocked the scientific community when whispers of lost civilizations buried within the continental shells of our world floated into the ears of archaeologists. Another adventure was beckoning, and there was no way they were going to miss it for any reason. Almost immediately, archaeologists scrambled up their equipment, divided themselves into teams, and set out for this golden exploration that promised exhilarating adventure they had never witnessed before. Without mincing words, this grand archaeological mission has birthed discoveries that have got scientists marveling at the wonders and hidden mysteries that have been lost to water. Let's take a quick look at some of these lost ancient cities that have got scientists grinning in excitement. Pavlopetri, Greece. If there is one place archaeologists have considered the oldest submerged city in the world, then it is Pavlopetri, located in Vatica Bay off the coast of southern Laconia in Peloponnese, Greece. The site is northeast of the village on the island of Elephanisos. When archaeologists began digging through the ruins of the site, they uncovered artifacts as far back as the final Neolithic Age, Shalalilithic Age, Bronze Age. The lost city is about 5,000 years old and is an architectural wonder that continues to fascinate archaeologists and historians alike. Pavlopetri has become a mecca for archaeologists who want to have a glimpse of what a city that existed five millennia ago looked like. Visitors are captivated by the sight of an almost complete town plan, including streets, buildings, and tombs. It's obvious that serious urban planning and development went into creating this lost city. We would never have been exposed to the marvel that exists within the remains of Pavlopetri if not for the efforts of Nicholas Fleming. It was Fleming who discovered the city in 1967 before it was later mapped by a team of archaeologists from Cambridge in 1968. So far, several fieldworks have been undertaken on the site in a bid to reconstruct the story of this once flourishing city. Although scientists have been able to decode that Pavlopetri was a center of trade during its existence, we are bound to uncover more discoveries about this underwater location in the coming days. Lion City, China, Swang All Known as Lion City, is an ancient underwater city located under Qindao Lake in Zhujiang Province, China. The lost city had been inhabited for centuries before it was purposely flooded by the Chinese government because they wanted to create space for a hydroelectric dam. The government's decision to flood the city meant that over 300,000 people had to be relocated from the site to new locations in China. Lion City is believed to be the most prominent Chinese city that remains well-preserved. A deep dive underwater would reveal that most of the homes, temple structures, and paved roads were preserved by being 131 foot underwater. This peculiar position protected the city from wind, rain, and sun damage. According to archaeological findings, the stone architecture dates to the Ming and Qing dynasties. The streets of Lion City contain 265 archways with surviving stonework that dates to 1777, and the city walls date to the 16th century. 
Thonis Heraclean. For centuries, the legend of Thonis Heraclean had been passed down generations, with many doubting if this mythical city existed. The doubts were finally laid to rest in the early 21st century when the city was confirmed to be a reality. Discovered in 2000 by the European Institute for Underwater Archaeology, IEASM, Thonis Heraclean is located within a historical site of 11 by 15 kilometers in the western part of Abukir Bay at a depth of approximately 10 m. This discovery came at a peculiar season when the name Heraclean had almost been wiped away from the memory of mankind, save for its preservation in ancient classic texts and rare inscriptions found on land by archaeologists. Long before Alexandria was founded, Thonis Heraclean was the major port of entry to Egypt for all. Ships coming from the Greek world, Thonis Heraclean also holds religious importance because of the Temple of Ammonius, which played an important role in rites associated with dynasty continuity. Archaeologists have helped us piece together the city's beauty and glory through the objects excavated from the site. Thonis Heraclean has historical evidence of grand temples, colossal statues, inscriptions, architectural elements, jewelry, coins, ritual objects, and ceramics. From the quality of archaeological remains excavated from the site, historians have gained insight into the opulence that existed in Thonis Heraclean. They have been able to trace a straight line from the success of the ancient city to its strategic position as a center of international trade. The surprising discoveries uncovered at the site have motivated explorers to remain steadfast in their underwater archaeological research of the lost city. Yanaguni Pyramid Modern-day archaeologists have been unable to get over the marvel that the Yanaguni Pyramid presented to the scientific community ever since it was discovered. Originally discovered in 1986, the Yanaguni Pyramid is famously known as the Atlantis of the Pyramid. It was uncovered thanks to the efforts of the squad Cairo Aritake. The discovery of the historical Japanese monument happened by chance when Aritake deviated from the designated diving area in an attempt to find hammerhead sharks. While on this journey, Aritake spotted the unusual shape of the structure. The diver's curiosity got the better of him, and he decided to explore further. In the process, he took the first photographs of the site. At that moment, the magnitude of what he had discovered hadn't dawned on him. He couldn't determine what he was looking at, but he was interested in knowing more. So, he decided to seek help from an academic, and this journey led him to the doorstep of Masaki Kimura, a marine geology professor at the University of the Ryukyus. The photographs piqued Kimura's interest, and he decided that he had to visit the site himself. This signaled the beginning of an elaborate research activity to determine the origins of the pyramid. The archaeological research done so far has revealed so much exciting information. Most researchers believe that the Yanaguni Pyramid is a naturally occurring feature. However, some academic researchers have a different view. They believe that the monument was created by a lost civilization that had carved out the structure long before any of us walked the Earth's surface. While researchers are hellbent on finding a last solution to this puzzle, tourists have swarmed the site in a bid to explore its breathtaking beauty. Port Royal, Jamaica it's been centuries since Port Royal, Jamaica, entered the League of Lost Cities of the Earth, yet the world can't get over this city. The wickedest city on Earth, Port Royal, was founded in 1494 by the Spanish and was once the largest city in the Caribbean. Port Royal got its infamous moniker because it was a pirate city and the most notorious pirate haven in the Caribbean. The city was constantly filled with pirates and buccaneers who gambled and partied hard like their lives depended on it. These men poured out money like water, and this was not surprising given the multitude of sex workers that littered the city. Although the Spaniards ran the city for two centuries, they lost their hold on this port when the English captured Jamaica in 1655. It didn't take long for the English to notice the port's strategic potential at the entrance to Kingston Harbor, so they wasted no time in strengthening its defenses and expanding the harbor to accommodate ships. Soon enough, the port grew to become the buccaneering capital of the world. However, this honor didn't last for as long as the pirates may have hoped because the city soon met an unfortunate fate. In June 1692, the world quivered in shock at the news of the disastrous event that had struck Port Royal, the pirate city was no more. 
it was destroyed by an earthquake, one that had come without warning. It's just like yesterday when the 7.5 magnitude earthquake hit the island, and the city, which was largely built over sand, gave away. The massive earthquake caused the instant liquefaction of the city, swallowing buildings, roads, and residents. It was a disturbing story. One minute, residents were going about their usual activities, and the next moment, they were battling for their lives as they were being sucked into the ground. If it was only the earthquake that hit the city, the story might have ended up a little differently. However, some other geological activities occurred that June, the dust of the earthquake hadn't even settled down before tsunami waves hit the city, dragging what had not been. 